Poverty Point Customs here. Just going to show you my new uh, Sterling 5x10 utility trailer. I purchased this through uh, Kent's in Canada. The regular price is $1,950 plus tax and the uh, paperwork for uh, your province for the plate and whatnot. Uh, this was on sale for uh, $1,799 plus tax and paperwork fees. Starting from the uh, front, I uh, just installed a Max Hall uh, trailer jack. If you want to check out the video on the installation, it takes a uh, two inch uh, trailer ball. It's a galvanized finish, which is nice. Uh, our last trailer was a Snow Bear uh, uh, five by eight utility trailer that was steel. And I found that every couple years we had to repaint it. But however, it did last for uh, 15 years, so we can't complain. One nice thing with the uh, front is you have these uh, quick detached levers and you can actually uh, unfold the uh, front to give you another 15 uh, inches of storage which is light, really nice for uh, longer uh, sheets of plywood or whatever you're hauling coming along the uh, side you have your LED marker light nice thing I like about it, it has the uh, larger 13 inch rims and tires compared to the uh, standard 12 inch and it has the easy lube uh, bearing uh, lube system so you just pop off the uh, rubber cap and you can hook up your grease gun and it uh, greases your bearings uh, with your grease gun side you can actually get a bracket so you can hook up a, a spare tire mount they're a little bit pricey the uh, brackets or are uh, seventy dollars through uh, sterling trailers at the back here again you have your LED uh, tail lights and again you can put down your ramp so it's got a really nice uh, loading ramp one thing I will do is grease your uh, hinges it has several areas to uh, tie down items as you can see you have the uh, little uh, round post sticking up here as well you have d-rays there's four of these in the floor so you can tie your heavier items down to your d-rays as well you can tie items to here and just showing from the back to the front again from the back of the trailer to the uh, front is uh, 10 feet plus your little extension which is approximately 15 inches so you have just over 11 feet of bed space and uh, 5 feet across and uh, 15 inches high and that's just your specification label on the uh, left hand uh, fender and it's nice too the fenders are galvanized so this utility trailer weighs 620 pounds it has a payload capacity of 2100 pounds and the axle is actually a 3,500 pound axle with a torsion uh, suspension set up on it. And when I hauled it, it's a nice wide trailer so it hauls really nice and smooth. And again, it's not a super heavy trailer, only being 620 pounds. And I really do like the LED lights. They're super bright compared to the old lights on uh, our uh, past utility trailer. And this is just showing underneath the trailer. It's nice and new. Hopefully we'll keep it this way. And this is just a quick uh, review and uh, explaining the uh, different uh, specifications on our new trailer. So the next step is we're going to get this all uh, sprayed off and washed for its first time. I'm going to use my snow foam can and my Matt CC and my Husqvarna PW3200 pressure washer to uh, give it a quick clean. <laughs> Spray foam cannons are unreal. You can see the amount of soap it puts on.
apologize for the wind. Uh, there we go though, the uh, trailer's all nice and uh, cleaned and it should uh, dry off pretty quick with the amount of wind right now. Again, this was just a short video on explaining some of the uh, specs and uh, different options with this trailer. Again, how you can put the front and rear down. And again, I'm going to get the uh, spare tire mount, a uh, spare tire for it. And we installed the uh, front jack this morning on it. So again, there's another video on that. And hopefully this uh, trailer will hold up like our uh, last trailer. Again, I went a little bit bigger, 5x10. I found the other trailer, you were limited when it was uh, just a little over uh, 4 feet, 4.5 four feet by 8. So it's nice having a little extra uh, room in this uh, trailer here. And again, we went galvanized, so we're not worried about rust. And uh, we'll always keep it uh, clean. I'm probably going to end up putting a coat of wax on it, just the way I am. And I'll uh, wax the rims too. I was hoping that they were going to be galvanized rims, but they're just the uh, white steel rims. So eventually down the road, if I have to replace the tires, I'll probably just put uh, galvanized rims on it for the replacement and keep one of these as a spare down the road. So anyways, I hope this uh, answers a few people's uh, questions in regards to this uh, type of trailer. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you post them below. If not, thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification button. Take care.